Ladies and gentlemen, apologize for the delay. I am really tired. I even forgot I just hit the button. That's how tired I am. I am getting ready to, this is a uh, natural reader. And what I'm getting ready to do is I'm getting ready to paste a lawsuit that I am bringing. Well, it's not actually a lawsuit. It's called a motion to compel arbitration. It is done under section number four of the Federal Arbitration Act. What I will show you, because I can, is a section of this document. This is the disclaimer that used to be on our site. So many have misunderstood this disclaimer. It is for those clever companies who attempt and or are attempting to contract via email, especially the click and slide method of contracting. For those agents and organizations, let it be known that I, we, accept your offer under the following terms and condition. It appears that you may be attempting to recontract, i.e. giving a notice of change in terms of agreement. I, we, am, are not willing to recontract. Therefore, I, we may disaffirm your offer, opt out of your arbitration agreement and any other terms and or changes to your prior agreement. Such is my our position and my our will henceforth here to with hence uh, here to for here to with and henceforth if this causes you any discomfort please consult your spiritual advisor for help to help you remedy the situation if this is unsatisfactory then the following will apply immediately upon dissatisfaction wait a minute what if they're not dissatisfied oh no if they continue to want to push their offer, then that's dissatisfaction. Disclaimer. We would like to thank you for contacting the Eon Foundation. We have received your communication and we accept your offer under the following terms and conditions. Due to the abundance of caution, we are extending the time for responses to this communication, in other words, your communication, from one year to 685 days from the date of receipt. Now, this shall apply to any and all corporate fictions and or parties who wish to recontract. We do hereby introduce the following arbitration clause. The value of any and all claims with respects to Eon Foundation, its affiliates and or associates shall begin at 1,000 US dollar per incident, per issue, and per instance. We reserve any and all rights without waiver with the exception of the 14th Amendment section number one, which I, we disavow. We disaffirm any and all prior agreements respecting a corporate offer to contract that we did not personally initially initiate, excuse me, and or include an arbitration agreement whereby we personally accepted the terms and conditions similar to those stated here via autograph wet seal. The arbitrator shall have exclusive jurisdiction to determine, render decision, and or order compliance with respect to the good faith nature of this agreement. You are to supply proof of claim of any and all alleged claims and or alleged statements and or alleged obligations and or alleged debts and or alleged duties. And you are to supply those within the next seven business days without exception. The arbitrator shall be chosen by the non-defaulting party without exception. There shall be no extension of time as your failure to comply with this mandate shall constitute conduct performance, i.e. assent, as your communication with this body documents a prior relationship, thereby establishing a duty upon your person and the organization to respond. Failure to respond as agreed shall equate as assent to the terms and conditions stated herein, amounting to your willful default. The value of this agreement shall not exceed $4 million. Now, wait a minute. We'll talk about that in a second. And the arbitrator may issue an award equaling the total of each and every claim offense plus whatever the arbitrator deems reasonable up and until four million dollars this is the point it may not exceed four million dollars but remember per incident per issue per argument per claim per everything that's why that section is up there alleged claim alleged statement alleged obligation alleged debt alleged duties blah 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 
You have three days to opt out of this agreement to arbitrate. However, if you fail to provide the requested information stated above, you will have elected to opt in to the arbitration agreement by such irrevocable conduct and therefore be bound by the terms and conditions of this agreement to its full effect. Any monies to be paid shall be in a coin or currency deemed to be legal tender in the United States that has actual value and not simply market value at the highest rate and or value from 1981 to 2006. This agreement shall be construed contextually in a common law. This agreement conforms with USC 9 USC and shall remain binding upon all parties and they are directly related and involved associates and shall expire 2069 AD. Ladies and gentlemen, I have sent Amazon six items in one box. Amazon told me, hey, you sent this one item too many. I said, oh God, okay, let me call UPS right now, get them to send it back to me, and then I will take the item out and put the correct item in. They said, okay, no problem. UPS says, okay, we'll put a tracer on it and we'll stop it. Call them the next day. Oh, sorry. We can't do it because you are not the shipper. Amazon is. So Amazon has to put the stop on it. Other than that, we have to send it back through its route. I said, okay, fine. Amazon said, well, we can't do that. You'll have to send it to us and our logistics department will send it back to you, but that could take up to 90 days. All right, fine. Then two days later, UPS says, hey, guess what? <laughs> We lost your package. I said, really? I said, really? Well, I need to file a claim. They said, okay. Three months later, oh, no, you couldn't file the claim. Amazon had to file the claim. So you got to call Amazon. They got to file a claim. Amazon, hey, UPS says y'all got to file a claim. Amazon said, we ain't doing nothing. Really? Remember I told you guys about the hammock that I bought from Amazon? That was one size too big. I got to skip through all this. That's the insurance company and information, but we can go to Amazon. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the hammock that I bought. See that right there? This is the hammock. But you see this hammock? Ooh, wait, look at all that right there. See that, 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 that arm right there? Let's click on that. You see this right here, ladies and gentlemen? See, I can't really move it, but you see that right there, how that's connected? They've redesigned it. You see, the one that I had, that was curved. And it had a pin in it, and the pin was too long. So they have redesigned it as a result of my accident. Imagine that. Thank you, Tranquilo. Now, I'm saying this is a pretty good hammock. I'm not joking. I like it. But the only problem is it had a flaw, design flaw. And they've realized it, and they've corrected it since the accident. Okay, pretty sturdy, stainless steel. Hey! Okay, but they've redesigned it as a result of the accident and they made these corners a lot more sturdy so it doesn't rock. Rock your bye, baby, on the treetop. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank them for doing that because that documents that the item was faulty. Amazon didn't like the fact that I was going to the doctors and I was giving their insurance people a hard time. And I do mean that I was giving them a hard time. They were calling me, asking me for information, trying to get me to settle. And I told them, no, I'm still going to the doctor. How am I supposed to settle with you? And I don't know the extent of the injury. Ladies and gentlemen, to be honest with everybody, I told them I had a pre-existing condition. I had three herniated discs in my back. That's why I got the hammock. In Puerto Rico, I had the hammock and I was feeling good, not going to any chiropractors or nothing because that hammock, you sit in that thing and your back just straightens out and it's comfortable. Let's see. I, I do want to know what price this thing is selling at. So what, what's your price? Uh-oh, currently unavailable. What the flying? What the? Okay. Anyway, uh, I don't see any other... Any other models that are even coming close to that one? I didn't know it was unavailable, ladies and gentlemen. I did not know it was unavailable. And see, I don't like this one because this one, if you try to come out of it, this side lifts up and you tip over. So this one ain't going to work. These right here, the same thing. You slide out of it the wrong way and it tips over. 
The reason why I got this one, because it looks sturdy enough that it wasn't going to tip over. Okay, that's what I was thinking. But that wasn't the case. Because, see, this ain't tipping over the way they have it. Because you slide out of this end, it may come up a little bit, but it's not coming up all the way. So, they ain't even making it. No, well, they might be making it, but it's out of stock. Just that simple. And again, this one right here could still be off balance. Because somebody, this thing says 400 pounds. I'm not nobody's 400 pounds, but if a 400 pound person is coming out of this thing, uh, yeah. You know what I mean, Vern? So, there you go. Well, Amazon decided to retaliate against my person by shutting down the account after I gave the so-called insurance company a difficult time. Amazon shut down my account saying that I had violated their policy accusing me of fraud, saying that the six items that UPS had lost that they had failed to file a claim on was me committing fraud, and they charged me for each item, did not refund me, and they shut down the account so that all the other items that I have that are having insurance on, I have no access to. Now, I am kind of proud because Asurion, I don't have to bring them into this because Asurion has honored the claims that I have been able to file. I just have to follow through on the claims. So, this is me letting you know, those of you who are part of the, the new Save Our Home program, this is me letting you know that there was a couple of delays on my part because I had my solar issues, which has really been stifling all of my work. But I've also had this issue come up as a late where Amazon said, hey, let me see if I can show it to you. Not there, not there. Breach of agreement. Let's see. Give me a second. I know it's here. I just got to find it. So that's from the insurance company. Tranquilo. Okay, but I need the part from Amazon. Compel performance. Thank you for taking the time to share, respond, and share your feedback. After further consideration, we've decided to reinstate your Amazon account. That's what they said on Friday. Then on Saturday morning, they said, right here. I left this space blank on purpose, but as we informed you earlier, we have closed this account. The records show that you, we previously closed the account of yours for violating the terms and conditions of use agreement. When we close the account for violating the terms of an agreement, you cannot reopen the account. They told me over the phone, they said I was accused of fraud. That's why they closed the account. Ladies and gentlemen, sorry, but you closed the account previously, and this is Saturday morning at 3.34 a.m. that they sent me that notice. But pay attention, everybody. It's very good for less than 12 hours later. They closed it, but 12 hours before, or 11 hours before, they said after consideration, we decided to reinstate your Amazon.com account. So I get them for that disingenuous offer that I accepted because guess what I said whereby I accepted their settlement offer I did I said that's interesting you could have done this nine months ago and you were would have resolved me of a lot of problems in other words you would have relieved me of a lot of problems but then it says, uh, the wind turbine, not that one. I'm looking for where I say I accept their offer because that's the, uh, if you can take care of the simple things I already prepared the file next week, you guys take it out. Uh, which one will be more effective? Tell me that I'm not acting in good faith. Your gestures appreciated. Your offer is accepted. Um, no need for you to consider the above. Uh, so, oh, I, I just need, it says, now I just need for you to consider the above so that I can have some peace of mind. That's it. That's, that was it. Why? Why, everyone? Because I knew that they would do exactly what they did.
that's why I had to make sure that before I ended this, that I accepted their offer. That's why I sent it to them this way. But I also reminded them of the Occutel cell phones that I'm having a problem with, my wind turbine that has never worked. I did that plus, hey, hold on. You guys claimed you lost it. No, I need you to file a claim. Please file the claim. That's why I did all of that. Why? Because I was cya -ing. What's the CYA mean? It means I was covering my anus. Okay. This, I've, it's taken me less than two hours to put this together. This is, I think, 15 pages about. Uh, let's see, how many pages is it for real? 11 pages. And so I put this together and I'm going after Amazon plus the insurance companies. Got all of their address plus UPS. Those are all third parties. And they have in the state of Washington, according to their terms and conditions of their policy, that they want you to go to Washington where their headquarters is in the county where their headquarters is. Why? Because it is possibly the thinking that they're going to get some favoritism by going there in that jurisdiction. It's okay. I don't mind going in that jurisdiction because I'm only asking for arbitration. Now, look, some of you who have arbitrations, let's see, I think it's, yeah, this, this case right here, um, Badro versus Waters. The Supreme Court says that, hey, doesn't necessarily mean that if you have a dispute that you get to go directly to federal court because the Arbitration Act does not say federal court. It does say district, the court in the district wherein the award was had. It says may apply to the court in the district, but it doesn't say federal district court. It doesn't say district court. It just says the court in the district. Well, remember the state courts are within the district. So thus this case right here, again, can't knock the Supreme Court because they are being literal with the so-called Constitution. The previous courts outside of Roberts weren't being literal. So that's why I'm going directly to state court. You want to get your arbitration awards? When you get a chance, read over this case. Read over this case. Here it is right here. Badro versus Waters, etc. all. Okay, it hasn't really been given a case number, case number. Okay, it just, because it was just, this. they just came to this determination. Um, I don't believe it was 2021. This was 2022 that this case was decided. Okay, this was a recent case that was recently decided this year. Ooh, man, that's a lot of, that's a lot of deciding. That's 37 pages. Supreme Court decided they wanted to cover every basis. And, um... Briar, you got an opinion? Somebody needs to go shut Briar up because we don't need her opinion. Oh, uh, God, Briar, you talking a lot. Man, Briar, what's up? Briar, you covering every single point. Sorry, Briar is still talking, y'all. I'm looking for, see, it says 2022. That's right there. That's what I want to let you know. And I know that Breyer's dissent, because I know this is a dissent, okay? See, Breyer dissenting. I know it's a dissent. That's why there's so much talking. You will do good to go over the dissents. That's, man, Breyer, you, God, you're doing more talking than the court. I'm still going on the dissent, y'all. This is 37 pages. I'm at page number 21. Almost 17 pages is the dissent. Lord have mercy. Seven March thirty first, twenty twenty two. Okay. Almost seventeen page. No, ladies and gentlemen, eighteen pages is Briar's descent. Eighteen pages is Briar's descent. So, take a look at the case. But this is what I've been doing in the background, and of course, I cannot tell you what is going to be the result of this matter cannot tell you because the non-defaulting party gets to choose the arbitrator the arbitrator will be chosen at random under the eon foundation
hey, who knows, it could be one of you because I get to choose anybody to be the arbitrator. But I, again, more than likely it won't be me because that, in my opinion, would not be fair for the founder of the Eon Foundation to deal with a matter dealing directly with the Eon Foundation. The Eon Foundation is an arbitration association, but it's a federal arbitration association. And so that will be taken care of. Again, it can't be anybody who is going to favor one party over the other. Don't don't sit up there and email me telling me, can I be an arbitrator? That doesn't work. It don't work like that. Whoever I choose will be given strict instructions as to what they can do. Again, there was one guy who I brought in to the organization and the award was supposed to be according to the contract and he only gave $350,000, a total of $450,000 when the case was definitely in the millions and I had to accept that. Wasn't what I wanted. I had to accept it. I, I, man, you have no idea how unhappy I was with it. But because I made an agreement for the arbitrator to make the decision to have exclusive jurisdiction, I couldn't go back to the arbitrator and say, no, you did me. You know, it, it, it couldn't happen like that. So, ladies and gentlemen, of course I'm going to use, if I get an award, that to write that off. But this way I can get the award confirmed. Why? because I'm getting a motion to compel. Even if the court doesn't compel, I will appeal whatever the court decides. Now, look, I got to go because I've been up and up and up today. I got my extra hour of sleep, but I was still up at 6.30 this morning, even with the extra hour of sleep. So it is now, what does that clock say, 7.40? And so because it's 7.40, three in the p.m. I want to be in bed by 8 15 so I got to get this done I got to proofread this and email it to all of the parties and they they're going to get an email copy but they're also going to get a copy in the mail because they have elected to receive electronic communications isn't that special that way nobody can claim that they didn't receive notice you follow me and then they're going to get a copy and we're going to send it out to everybody so that everybody gets their copy and this will be filed in the court. Now, this is going to cost me $240 to file in that court. But this is me letting Amazon know and UPS know. I don't care how big you guys think you are. I will chop you off at the kneecaps. And then I'll go for each toe, including your bunions mess with me mother all right ladies and gentlemen thank you thank you thank you for allowing me to provide you an opportunity of understanding what's been going on and why i've been so distracted because i gave them my word that this would be filed by friday so i gave them my word gotta keep my word all of you don't give your word unless you're willing to keep it Remember, Jesus says, let your yes mean yes and your no, no, for you can't turn one hair of your head gray or black. So just let your yes mean yes and your no, no. So I gave them my word by Friday because it was something, as you can see, I'm capable of doing. And they decided they wanted to test me. So now I'm about to get their attention because I told them to leave me alone and they decide they want to mess with me. They want to test me. So while this is filed, I'm not going to be focused on this. I'm going to be focused on my save our homes and our automobiles and our student loans. Okay. We got so much more information coming at you guys with that. Uh, those of you who, I want to see how it's going to work out. There's no guarantee. That's your fault. Ladies and gentlemen, the same with this. I don't have to go through the court system, but I am. Why? Because for the court not to grant the arbitration award, see, if they say my arbitration is invalid or any of that other bull crap that they like to say, then now we go straight to appeal. And then we go straight to the Supreme Court on this issue. Why? Because we have too many other people who have introduced arbitration agreements. 
and the courts must enforce the arbitration agreement according to the terms of the agreement. So if they say nobody ever signed anything, nobody ever said we accept, then that would mean that there can be no other agreements where parties don't actually officially accept the agreement. All of you who've done agreements where the courts have said your stuff was bogus and it was unofficial, by all means, if you received a notification that the agreement was invalid, you can now use that agreement was invalid because the other party didn't agree, didn't sign or anything like that to opt out of every other agreement from that point forward. That's what that was for. We'll be taking care of that later, but for right now, got to take care of this because this is personal to me, you know, and I got to take care of some personal business of my own. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for your time, for your efforts, for your concern, for your support. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I do appreciate it, even though it doesn't sound like it, but I really do. I mean, gosh, I really do.